Hi everybody, I'm Nick Paranjape with Williamson Source, and you're probably wondering, Nick, where the heck are you? We are inside the old, old jail off Bridge Street in downtown Franklin, and joining us now is the executive director of the Heritage Foundation, Mary Pierce. Mary, why are we inside this old, old jail? Well, we believe this is a building, Nick, that needs a second chance <laughs> as the big house for historic preservation. It served our community as an old, was built as a jail, served us as a jail, until the early 1970s and then it was used for uh, Williamson County archives and book storage. Mm -hmm. It is set empty for 20 years and uh, we believe that it, it can have another chance at life. Well, it's, it's going to get that chance, and I know you're really excited. Um, this place is a wreck. I mean, it's an absolute mess. What's it going to take to restore this? Well, uh, just the environmental cleanup alone, I think, is, is uh, projected to be right under 200000 But, oh, my gosh, what an education this can be for the whole community to take the biggest wreck in a really, you know, underutilized part of downtown Franklin, uh, which seems like it's more than a few blocks off our gorgeous Main Street, and, uh, and bring it back, keep it out of the landfill, uh, build a place for the community. We envision uh, this as the big house for historic preservation where you can visit a restored uh, cell, uh, where you can look at um, history on the walls in, uh, through our 12,000 historic photographs that Rick Warwick has collected and also uh, have history panels on the wall that are interactive for people to use. And then outside where the old junkyard used to be at the back of the property, we envision the junkyard stage. And you can go sit down, hopefully not on a day like today, <laughs> but on a, on a summer day or spring or fall day and listen to some music. Uh, think about the Lawn Cheer Theater in Leapers Fork and we really don't have a place like that downtown. What is the timeline for this? Well, the timeline, right now we have hired an architect, we've hired a general contractor. So our plan is we are in the design phase of the project. We will be pricing the project in the next six weeks. And um, we will be launching our fundraising, and who knows how long the fundraising is going to take. Uh, I really don't have a firm number on the price, but we know it's north of a million uh, to redo it. And I know when you look at it, Nick, you yes. go, yeah, that's easy to is see. Is that enough? <laughs> <laughs> that's easy to see. <laughs> but uh, we, we don't really know. I mean, we hope that in our dreams we'd be moving in here in a couple of years. Mm. Um, we're uh, just proud to have the opportunity. It's a great chance to practice what we preach, uh, you know, which is to, to value the things that make our community unique. And this will be one more reason that we're not any town USA, <laughs> because not anywhere else in America that we found has a big house for historic preservation. She is the executive director of the Heritage Foundation. Mary Pierce, thank you, Mary, for joining oh, thank us. thank you, You think Nick. you can turn on the heat here? It's really cold. Can you do that? <laughs> I don't think we got any <laughs> heat to turn on, Nick. <laughs> well, really exciting, all the plans here for the old, old jail right off Bridge Street. If you're interested in giving, contact the Heritage Foundation. In Franklin, I'm Nick Paranjape for Williamson Source.